welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where every day I try to bring you the latest advancements in technology, communication, and innovation, but in a language that everyone can understand. And today I've got an incredibly exciting guest to join us. His name is Josh Miner, Vice President of Land Mobile Services at Iridium Communications. And Josh is at the forefront of satellite communication. So I've invited him on to discuss Iridium's groundbreaking technology that's changing the way that many stay connected across the globe. And we're talking from pole to pole. And Iridium Communications, as far as I'm aware, is the only company providing mobile satellite service that covers every single inch of the planet. And that's made possible with its cutting-edge constellation of low-Earth orbiting satellites And it helps them deliver critical voice and data services to areas where terrestrial communication networks fall well short. And catering to a wide range of industries as well, Iridium is working closely with hundreds of partners to serve commercial markets, as well as US Department of Defence and other government agencies, not to mention travellers and people that like to go off-grid now and again. And one of their most innovative products is the Iridium Go Exec, which is essentially a highly portable satellite communication device that connects all smartphones, tablets and laptops, offering truly global connectivity. And as a result, it helps keep remote workers, first responders, sailors, adventurers connected, no matter where they are on Earth. And Josh Milner, our guest today, has played a significant role in the development and success of these personal communication products. So in today's episode, we're going to be discussing all this, along with the unique features of the Iridium Go Exec, the key differences between the original Iridium Go and the new enhanced version, and the various professional and personal use cases for this device. And we'll delve into the world of L-band satellite connectivity and what makes it stand out from other satellite alternatives and so much more. So buckle up and hold on tight as I beam your ears all the way to the US where we explore the world of Iridium Communications with Josh Miner and learn more about their innovative technology and how it's revolutionising global connectivity. But enough from me. Let's get Josh on the podcast now. So a massive warm welcome to the show, Josh. Can you tell everyone listening a little about who you are and what you do? Thanks, Neil. Great to be here. Um, so I'm Iridium's vice president of our land mobile business. So I'm responsible for the revenue and future growth of Iridium's portfolio of products for the use in the land mobile market. So that's products like our satellite phones, push to talk and data products for use in industries like oil and gas, mining, uh, military, uh, forestry industries, as well as for personal use by adventurers, business travelers, um, and also those embarking on off the grid recreational activities. So. What I do is I do a lot of the market research requirements, um, planning and pricing, just to make sure that we have the uh, the best opportunity to be successful in the market and uh, are meeting customers' needs. Well, a huge welcome to the show. And before you came on, I was doing a little research and I was reading how Iridium Go builds upon the original Iridium Go device, offering global connections for various devices. But before we go there, I'd love to hear more about it. But can you offer a bit of an overview for anyone listening, hearing about Iridium for the very first time. Absolutely. Uh, So the Go series of products is really about connecting your smart devices to an easy-to-use Iridium Wi-Fi access point that's portable, battery-powered, and and, uh, really a device that you can take anywhere. Um, So what's different about our products is that with the Go series, they provide connectivity anywhere in the world, uh, connecting to Iridium's global network of 66 satellites, Uh, These are satellites that are low Earth orbit, and they allow you to make phone calls, uh, message, and access safety and productivity apps as if you were on a cellular network using your own smartphone or tablet. Uh, Our first generation product was introduced in 2014, um, and uh, we built on that with the new Iridium Go Exec device in every way. Uh, Our new product is modernized. It has touch screen. It's easy to use as a smartphone. And um, it has network access that enables the use of your own apps like um, WhatsApp and uh, Outlook. And it allows you to connect multiple users to the Iridium network in a very easy way that's portable, uh, a device that can take with you on trips, but also uh, for business uses as well. Incredibly cool, the technology behind this and what you're doing. And I'm curious, what, what are the specific challenges that the Iridium Garo Exec aims to 
address, particularly for remote workers, government employees, first responders, and our, say, adventurers are always seem to get into trouble too. Can you expand on that for me? Yeah, first and foremost, we wanted to make sure that the technology was really easy to use. Um, historically, satellite communications and connecting to satellite networks has been um, challenging. In some, in some ways, you need technicians to connect. You have to point towards a satellite that's over the equator, uh, often with satellite dishes. And a lot of the use cases are more fixed uh, for buildings or remote work sites. Um, because of the unique advantages of our network, um, we really wanted to make the product easy to set up and use. So that just starts with the um, experience of powering on the Iridium Go Exec and connecting to the network. Um, all you have to do is set the Iridium uh, Go Exec um, on a flat surface, raise the antenna, it powers up, it automatically connects to the satellites, which can be um, anywhere in, in the open sky, and then you're connected. And um, you pair to the device just like a, a Wi-Fi connection that you'd have in your home or your office. Um, so it's really intuitive. And we've made a, a very simple um, application that you can use to make phone calls or start your connection. And um, it's really just like using a, an app on your phone um, once you're connected. And the, uh, the user interface itself um, is, is really driven towards making remote workers, government employees, first responders more productive and taking the stress out of connecting to a satellite network um, so they, so people can use devices that they're familiar with, uh, with applications that work when they need it, where they need it, um, anywhere in the world. And what I love about what you're doing is how you're making it easy for anybody to use. And one of the things I always try and do every day on this podcast is is demystify technology, talk about it in a language that everyone can understand and how they can get up and running. And before you came on, I was reading that Iridium Go Exec utilizes L-band connectivity. So can you tell the listeners a little bit more about what that means and also what advantages it has uh, over other alternatives out there, especially around satellite connectivity? Yes, L-band connectivity is really the sweet spot for satellite connectivity, and uh, it's it's closer in, in bands where uh, GPS and um, cellular technology is is, is located for um, transmitting and, and receiving network um, connections over a network. Um, and, and the reason that's important is because um, it it is very resilient to weather. Um, it can operate in snow and rain, and uh, that's really important for uh, reliability and our, our network is really built on reliability and the ability to connect uh, when you, when you need to. Whereas um, KA and, and KU band is in a much higher uh, frequency band, and um, it's subject to uh, to rain and, and uh, snow fade. So if anyone's ever used uh, a uh, satellite TV network and experienced um, static or losing uh, a channel when there's been uh, adverse weather connections. Um, that's the technology of, of KA and KU, where L-band is, um, is really re reliable and resilient, and it just really punches through uh, weather, which is, which is important because it's um, predictable and easy to, to, to use in all conditions. And if we were to take a look under the hood of the technology and the service that brings these devices to life, can I ask you to elaborate on how the Iridium Certus 100 service, how that enhances the capabilities of the Iridium Go exec? Compared to, let's say, the original Iridium Go? Certus 100 platform that we introduced several years ago really uh, fills a, a gap that was in the market for many years between um, broadband technology that required um, bigger satellite antennas um, that were often uh, dishes or very large panel um, antennas and what we would call narrow band, which were very small antennas that portable that could operate with battery powered devices. Certus 100 is, is really like right in the middle. You can have um, antennas that are small, about the size of your thumb, um, that can connect um, automatically with, with our network. Uh, they're omnidirectional, um, but with speeds that are, that are faster using um, IP uh, connections, which get you onto the network quicker. It allows you to use applications um, that you're accustomed to using um, every day, like messaging apps. And um, the old technology um, that we had was was really similar to dial-up. If you remember dial-up technology, it would take you know, 30 to 40 uh, seconds to connect to the network. And uh, then then you'd be up and running for, 
for sending and receiving very small messages. The data experience with um, for us with with Certus 100 allows us to have 40 times faster download speeds, 10 times faster upload speeds, and a very fast acquisition where you're getting onto the network in a couple seconds. Um, so that way you can get on, get get done what you need to do very quickly. And um, it opens up a lot more possibilities to use applications that you're accustomed to using on um, cellular uh, or Wi-Fi networks. Um, but that's the data side of, of the the um, Certus 100 um, platform. But we've also um, it significantly improved our voice experience. Um, so what we call high-quality voice uh, we double the amount of bandwidth that we allocate uh, for products like the Iridium Go Exec. So the quality of voice is very similar to what you would experience on a cell phone. Um, but you're experiencing that through your smartphone anywhere in the world connecting to a product like the Iridium Go Exec. And uh, it's like taking a, a mini uh, cellular network with you so you can get up and running and connect to uh, the people uh, that are important to you uh, anywhere you need to to stay productive or stay safe. And for anyone that is searching online for the best device for them and their unique needs, and every single one person listening will have a different set of requirements, maybe that particular online search led them to listen to our conversation today. For those people listening, what are the key differences that customers should be aware of when deciding between, let's say, the original Iridium Go and the Iridium Go Exec? Yeah, it really comes down to three areas, um, size, capabilities, and, uh, and price point. Um, so the original Iridium Go, uh, which we are going to continue to sell, uh, which we've now sold for about um, nine years, um, that is our smallest uh, Wi-Fi access point. Um, it's a product that's, that can fit in your pocket. Um, it's battery powered. Um, so for somebody that's hiking, as an example, that wants something that's incredibly lightweight, um, it gives them the ability to make phone calls and send text messages and um, have a, have some light data access for uh, applications like uh, email. Uh, the, the Iridium Go is, is a good product. Um, and it's also our most affordable um, Wi-Fi access device in the, the Go series. Um, with Iridium Go Exec, um, the size is, is a little bit bigger. It's... Um, it's about the size of a mini laptop. Um, it's very sleek. It's very thin. Um, and uh, it's something you can fit in your, your backpack or your briefcase, certainly carry on um, onto an airplane going anywhere in the world. Uh, but it's a lot more capable uh, because it has the Certus 100 capabilities. So you can get onto the, the network very quickly. Um, it's using IP, you know, modernized uh, network interfaces. Um, you can use your own apps there when you're on your smartphone, uh, but it's more of a premium experience. And that's why we named it the uh, Iridium Go Exec, because it was really targeting towards people that uh, need more, particularly professionals um, that that need access to their own applications and are, and are willing to pay a premium for those, those capabilities. Uh, so those are really the, the two differences between the Iridium Go and the Iridium Go Exec. And he mentioned a few moments ago the word affordable, and I suspect for many people listening, they will be thinking about things like pricing, costs, etc. So how does the pricing and subscription model for the Iridium Go Exact work, and, and how can a businesses or consumers or anyone listening purchase the device? Is there anything you can share around that? Yeah, we're really flexible uh, with the pricing uh, that we offer, and we sell through a network of um, distributors and resellers that are located all around the world. Um, both in physical locations as well as um, online. Uh, they're, they're very easy to uh, find by just searching the Iridium Go exec. Um, but as far as service packages, uh, we offer month-to-month uh, -month plans. And uh, the way that those are structured is that those plans have a certain bundle of, of data. So they have megabytes of data uh, that can be consumed. And within the uh, Iridium Go exec, uh, we really make it easy for customers to track the amount of usage um, that they have on the Iridium Go Exec. So we, we build in a connection manager. Um, so when you start a connection, you can see uh, real time how much data is being used. Um, so you can make sure that you're keeping track of your budget. Um, but you can also really control the use of that data 
uh, with a connection manager because we have different profiles where you can pick the application that you're using and it'll filter out all the other applications that may be running in the background just to make sure that you can focus on the application that you um, need to connect to, um, but then um, you don't have any data that's running in the background or any running runaway charges. So uh, that's that's how we we make the use of of data uh, for from a subscription standpoint very predictable. And then we also include um, voice minutes. So we mentioned that high quality uh, voice that we include in the Go Exec. Uh, we have a very uh, robust amount of of data um, and voice that we include in these packages, um, just so you can experience that um, as included value. Um, so we have month to month plans. And so for someone that may be, uh, as an example, an individual going on a camping trip one month, but then uh, four or five months later, uh, doing some yachting or something like that, or going on a, a cruise uh, with the month to month plans, you can, you can start a connection and you can turn it off and you can turn it on several months later. Um, but we also additionally have what we call annual packages, and those are for people that have intermittent usage throughout the year, but the difference is that they can roll over uh, the amount of voice and data uh, that they have and use it any time throughout the year. So maybe they have uh, a lot of activity in the summer, uh, they get the full value um, of, of access to all the the uh, data and voice um, that they have in those packages, but they can choose when they they want to use it. Um, so really comes down to month to month and annual uh, plans. Well, I think that flexibility is so important, especially for someone looking for a, a go-to device. If they have got, I don't know, a big adventure, they're going hiking, cruising, etc. It makes perfect sense. But I, I'm curious, if we zoom out for a moment, who, who is the Iridium Go exec aimed at? Who gets the most value of it? And can you maybe share a few professional use cases and highlight the features that are are most relevant to businesses and government organizations, et cetera? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it could be anything from government use cases um, to um, forestry to uh, family camping and, and recreational uh, boating. And um, you know, just as an example, for somebody that's a, a government official and uh, is traveling to different countries but wants to use um, encrypted applications is an example like WhatsApp. I mean, they can connect through this as if they would connect any Wi-Fi um, hotspot, uh, but they can uh, connect over the, the Wi-Fi um, network of the Iridium Go exec and then make sure that they um, are sure that they still have uh, that security. So I'd say anybody that you know, is, is concerned about security could, could use this traveling, uh, but also for recreational purposes, um, for boating, there's a lot of applications that are out there that have uh, graphical weather that you could access, which is really important uh, if you're boating because the conditions can change um, so quickly. Uh, being able to see uh, weather patterns. I mean, I'd, I'd experienced this personally uh, going deep sea fishing with, with some friends. We came across some adverse weather conditions and using uh, a graphical screens, able actually able to navigate through weather formations and get back um, to the uh, to the docks uh, safely can be really important whereas those that don't have access to that information uh, really can be um, stuck in severe weather which can be um, pretty damaging but I mean there's isn't really for for productivity purposes there's just really this whole movement towards digitization and, and moving workflow um, closer to the edge where the workers are, are located. Uh, and getting rid of papers. So just as an example, you know, a lot of disasters that, that, that can happen um, either in uh, central U.S. where there's tornadoes or down in um, the, uh, the, the coastal areas where there's hurricanes, you know, allowing insurance adjusters, as an example, to set up and be more responsive to their customers and be connected to the internet when a lot of cellular towers um, can be be down for many, many days uh, could just provide better service from a, from a professional uh, user standpoint is is another way that we can see businesses using this this product. It's great to hear about very practical use cases here for adventurers, especially around security, productivity, the serious side of going off the grid and protecting yourself. But my son always says, uh, no risk, no story, you know, and uh, 
Lizzie always says to me, uh, nobody has a, a good story over things going right. So I'm going to ask you now, is there a funny or interesting story that has happened in your career that uh, you can leave everyone listening with? Yeah, I've been in the uh, the telecom industry for, for a long time. I mean, I, I, it's now been uh, over 25 years. And um, I mean, I, I started in, uh, in business to business sales early on. And um, I had one particular experience that really stuck with me. And um, yeah, I, I think maybe some can, can relate to, but you know, I, I was in business to business sales very early on selling wireless in the, uh, the late nineties. And uh, I ended up getting a, a call from a customer that, that wanted to meet on location to um, sign up for some, uh, some of the time, some wireless service and um, ended up getting to the location and there was a ladder up a four story uh, building. It was in, in uh, downtown Boston. And uh, I look around and the building was, was locked. I looked up and uh, the guy leaned over and said, why don't you come on up? And uh, now I'm looking at this thing and I ended up climbing the ladder, even though I'm a little bit um, squeamish with, with heights. And uh, I got up to the top and uh, the guy said, you're in my business. He goes, anybody that could come up here, you know, somebody that I want to do business with. And, um, you know, that's one thing that's stuck with me in my career is that you got to earn people's business. And a lot of that is, is knowing your customer and kind of going the extra mile. And that's really what I try and do day to day is um, talk to our customers, go the extra mile, uh, put myself in, in their shoes and, uh, and earn their business. And, uh, you know, that's hopefully that reflects in the products that, that we, we come out with. Um, you know, having been with Iridium now for about 14 years, and if you look at the website, a lot of the products we have are, are very customer focused. So. Uh, that's just a little antidote for you. Oh, absolutely love it. What a great story. Before I let you go, for anyone listening, just want to find out a little more information about everything we talked about today. I'm sure you've got videos on your website, et cetera, but there are that many different URLs and domain names out there at the moment. So what's the best starting point to find out more about anything we talked about and maybe even contact your team if they have further questions? Uh, Radium.com is the uh, the best place to start. And um, it's it's very easy to navigate. We have a whole product section where we've uh, listed videos about the um, Iridium Go Exec, um, all the specifications, um, where to buy, and uh, that would be really my my first starting point. And then also, of course, you can you can search through any of the popular search engines, um, Google, etc. But just type in Iridium Go Exec. Uh, you can find all of our retailers. Uh, they're really excited about the product. We're excited about the product. Um, you know, we have a really strong amount of orders that come through and, and, um, it would, the more that the customers think discover the product and how easy it is to use. And, um, I think that we're going to really have a, a hit, uh, that that really improves people's lives and makes them safer and more productive, uh, when they're outside of, of cellular networks, which by the, by the way, cellular only covers about 15% of the planet. And, wow. Yeah. So for those that need a companion device uh, that they can take with them anywhere in the world, um, this is really it for them because they can be assured whether they're in the middle of the ocean or uh, in a different country. Um, those cellular networks are really limited. Um, so we live in a big planet. We just want to make it safer and people more connected because like as anybody has experienced when, you're, uh, when your cell phone's not working, it's kind of a isolated feeling, uh, particularly as you get more and more off the grid. Having that companion with you for your for your smartphone or your smart devices, I think anybody can agree that that's just really valuable in this day and age. Wow, I didn't realize that the cellular networks only connect to fifteen percent of the world. That, that's a, a crazy stat, isn't it? When you when you sit back and think about that, yeah, it's just something that we take for granted. Yeah, and uh, I think for those that that um, pursue travel and, and business more and more outside of, of metropolitan areas and where we live day to day, um, it, it really becomes critical for them to, to find a way to, to connect and, and uh, be more productive as well as connected to their loved ones. So um, that, that's where we come in and can help out. Well, I cannot thank you enough for coming on here today, talking about this in a language that every, everyone can understand from L-band connectivity, what makes it stand out from satellite connectivity alternatives, the main differences between that original Iridium Go and the Iridium Go exec, 
And also bringing it to life, really, with some professional use cases uh, uh, for anyone from businesses, governments, off-grid adventurers. There's so much to t talk about there. But just a big thank you for bringing the whole topic today, uh, topic to life today and also that breathtaking start to leave us on. Thanks again. Yeah, this is great. I really appreciate uh, your time and the opportunity to talk to you and your listeners. And um, I hope for those that are listening, you check out the Iridium Go Exec as well as the full suite of Iridium products. Um, we're here to help. And uh, if you're in these situations where you're traveling or working off the grid, uh, Iridium is, is there for you. We can connect you anywhere in the world. And uh, we have a whole range of products. We talked about the uh, Iridium Go Exec and Go today, but um, we, we have hundreds of different products, either uh, those that we've developed directly or those um, from our partners that can uh, can uh, allow you to stay more connected um, and productive anywhere in the world. So um, look forward to that. Thanks. So a big thank you to Josh for joining me on the podcast and offering a deeper understanding of the groundbreaking technology that Iridium brings to the table here, especially with their highly portable and innovative device, this Iridium Go Exec. I really enjoyed discussing the unique features of L-band satellite connectivity, learning more about it in a language that everyone can understand and understanding that key difference between the original Iridium Go and the Iridium Go Exec, not to mention the numerous professional and personal use cases for this device. So for me, I, I just hope that everyone listening enjoyed this episode and hopefully it opened your eyes to the potential of satellite communication and the critical role it is playing in keeping people connected across the globe. And that stat that Josh left us with there, only 15% of the planet is covered by cellular data. That's an eye-watering stat, isn't it? And as always, I appreciate your continued support for the podcast. So don't forget to subscribe, rate and review on whatever platform you're listening to us. It really does help us in the battle against the algorithms to bring more people and great guests like Josh onto the show. So stay tuned for more episodes. I'm here every single day, 365 days a year, bringing you the latest in technology, innovation and communication and the trends around it. So if you do want to learn more about Iridium Communications, check out their website, iridium.com. If you want to learn more about me, go to techblogwriter.co.uk. You can connect with me directly on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, at Neil C. Hughes, and you can send me an email, techblogwriteroutlook.com. But once again, thank you to Josh Miner for sharing his insights and expertise, and an even bigger thank you to each and every one of you listening. I know you're all scattered around the world, but it really means a lot that you take the time to listen to these podcasts every day so so remember stay connected keep innovating and until next time don't be a stranger <laughs>